together the eight arm spring tool clutch because uh, there's been some issues on how it exactly works. And so these little weights that Brett's pulling out right now, they are strictly for the launching purpose of the clutch. So once we get these apart, we'll show, I'm going to show you how to, we set the clutch up and that'll give you a good starting point. Pause. Okay, once you get the spider out, you take the launching weights and put them all back in, tighten them right down, just as if they were in the clutch. Okay. You're gonna tighten them right back down just like just as if the thing was together. And then I'll show you how we adjust them. Pause. The spider on the table, upside down, tighten the Allen screw until the arm touches, you know, it touches the table. So keep keep going. Okay. You want to just just touches the table. Now you want to double check it. Double check, make sure it works. Make sure it works. Make sure it's not too far. Okay. So now you set all four arms that way. And once you have all those set screws set. You then go ahead and take the weights back out so we can start putting the clutch back together. Okay. I'll make sure they all work free. Okay, so now we got the launching weight set, the Allen set. Now we're gonna put shim the clutch. So depending on what belt you run, these post shims here is gonna set your belt clearance. In our case, we run a cat belt. So we're gonna put a 60 and a 30,000 shim. That's what it takes to run. That's the kind of clearance. That'll give me about 30 thousandths worth of belt clearance. So those with that's the um, post shims strictly are for setting belt clearance. That's about all you're really going to use those for. These shims are for setting the spider height. We're gonna we're gonna use this. We comes with sixty and thirty. We're gonna use a sixty. So you put you put your belt shims down. You put a uh, 60 thou, I would probably recommend a 60 thou, and then that sets your belt height for the, for the belt. Okay, now we can work on the weights. Okay, so the, this is the weights. Now these weights is what actually controls your RPM, uh, that are adjustable. So this basically is, each one of these holes will... When you're running an eight tower type clutch, you typically do not want to use this first hole. You can use these two holes, unless you spread the weight out completely, then you don't use all three holes. But in this case, we're going to just use the center hole for us. <clears throat> so we're going to use, we're going to add three washers, which is six grams per weight to each side. So we're going to set up all three weights, or all four weights and then put them in the clutch. <laughs> 